Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about guilt. I asked Spirit what we're going to be discussing, what I'm going to be channeling, if there are any healings that are going to be going on regarding anything that was of the most importance for everyone and guilt is what I received. So if you're not familiar with the drill, please have a glass of water by you in case I'm guided to have you sip water. It helps flush negative energies through the physical body. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press like, share this video and comment if you are so moved. I thank you so much for all of this. I love hearing from the people who've been watching my videos. Great stories, a lot of validation. It keeps me going. It supports me in the work that I do for the collective. So with that being said, I pull from the highest of Christ-like consciousness, meaning the ones that are enlightened. They might have walked the earth. They might be from other realms. Who, whatever the case, I am pulling from high frequencies, high souls and collectives come in through me as one voice. I put my Joni aside and I bring in information for what is for all of your highest good. If the information doesn't resonate, please put it on the shelf. It might resonate at a, letter, a later date. And also regarding date and time, there is no timestamp on this video. So if you're watching it today, fine. If it's tomorrow, the next day, thereafter, month, year, whatever, spirit knows when folks will be tuning into this. And those who are to experience this will be receiving the information that is necessary for them on their path. Okay, so I'm going to move Joni aside now and I'm going to see what there is regarding the concept of guilt. So the first thing that I get is, and I get a lot of metaphor, they're very cheeky with me, pop culture stuff comes in. So the first thing I got was flavor of the month. I'm going, what does that mean, flavor of the month? So the part that I got out of this is flavor of the month is there are souls that are like, well, what, what am I going to do this month? What am I going to choose from? What am I into today? And I'm asking a lot of questions in milla, milla, milliseconds as I'm getting this in my third eye, my movie screen is there are people that are curious. So there are folks who are in their respective incarnations here in earth school who have been curious regarding the concept of guilt. They want to carry it around with them and see what it feels like to be guilty, to have this burden. I don't know whether any of you that are watching this might be wondering why the heck you feel guilt when you are a logical person and that you do not understand why you have so much guilt and that you have difficulty shedding it, yet it remains with you, stuck to you. Check in with yourself and see whether that's something that you might be able to identify with. You're a very curious soul if that's the case. If I've tried therapy, I've tried self-help and journaling, talking to a trusted friend, making sense of it in my mind, and I can't seem to shake the stuff. It's possible that you are a brave soul and that before you came into this lifetime, when you had a checklist of curiosities that you wanted to investigate, you checked off guilt and that you decided that you would engage in activities, you would perceive certain things where guilt would be the predominant feature in your movie and you would sit with that for a long time and that no matter how you try and shake it, it would stick with you. What I would say to those of you where this resonates is it's possible that it was karmic. It's possible that you chose this because out of the curiosity, you might have guilted others and you not, might not have experienced guilt elsewhere. So it was time for you to have this experience, this novel experience for yourself. 
It might also be that the guilt that is overwhelming and difficult to shed might be something that you up the ante with, that you added on in this lifetime, because in other lifetimes you felt guilty and you went to your passing not forgiving yourself, therefore incurring karma, and you had to make it even more forceful in this lifetime in order for you to then face this and ultimately forgive yourself. Again, not sure whether any of this resonates, but sometimes when I channel things that are not necessarily relevant to what people are conscious of here, they have this inkling, this feeling, it's this claircognizance or divine knowing that elsewhere something might be going on. And that's why here in this lifetime, it's happening. I'm going to keep going on regarding this curious soul baggage burden of guilt. Mm. Well, again, regarding the curious, the one who comes in so curious about this concept, it's almost like you put yourself in a room, you wallpapered it with the word guilt, you're wearing clothes that have the word guilt, you did aromatherapy, you've gotten a mute, a, a a diffuser with an essential oil that says guilt oil on it. And everything is slathered everywhere in every way. Your bed has guilt, your, your chair, everything, your moisturizer, your shaving cream, everything says guilt on it. And that you have immersed yourself in this concept. And that you might find that it's extremely difficult for you to work your way out of that room. So with that being said, Let's do a healing, removing any karma or any energies that are blocking you from lifting yourself from this, where it doesn't block you from learning about the concept of guilt, but it lifts you in order for you to move through it so you can learn from it rather than be stymied by it. So. Jump on board, folks, any of you who are interested in this, across time and space, forwards and backwards across all generations. Any karma, any energies that are blocking the souls that are, have difficulty moving past guilt, despite their intense curiosity, we ball up all those lifetimes of unforgiveness, and you say inside, I forgive myself. Someone said, hooray, and another one's like, hurry. So I got hooray and hurry. So someone's like, chop, 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 move this along. You know, I want to get rid of this now. Next step, forgive everyone and everything. Definitely there's a lightning. Forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Please, all of you, forgive me because I had unforgiveness towards you. Thank God for these life lessons. And for those of you who haven't been watching the videos, when I say God, I mean creator, source, spirit, the oneness, whoever you believe is the infinite in intelligence that embodies us all. Have a sip of water. Good. I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to see more regarding guilt. Uh, they're stopping me. So they want me to do more. They want me to do toning. I haven't done that in a long time. Frequency is an energy and there are different frequencies and we have healing properties that go for all different frequencies and we can emit tones, frequencies for healing. So they want me to do some toning regarding healing of guilt. So I'm going in, I've got my galactic brothers and sisters who assist and I'm gonna, I see there's a Pleiadian officer who is on top of this. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If any of you feel chilly right now, cover yourself with a blanket or pause this video, go get yourself something warm. And if you need a nourishing drink, I see tea, soup. Get that blanket, folks. There was a release that went on here. And if any of you are shuddering, then you're doing a release right now. Some of you might feel a little bit of a shock, like, whoa, what the heck was that? Boom. You got hit with some very interesting information. You're being reworked. There's a charge. There's an interesting focus that's going into your body. There is a lot of suffering. And I feel that the light beings are, are holding on to you. And there's a certain skill that they possess. And they're working through many, many layers to unite you with truth that you've been removed from a lot of truths this guilt that you've been holding on to does not compute it makes no sense whatsoever and a lot of information is countering the suffering that you've been holding on to for eons not necessarily just in this lifetime but in many many others across creation okay now i'm going to go in regarding more regarding the concept of guilt Mm, okay, so this has something to do with you in relation to other, where you fit in in relation to other, and that you are pivoting yourself in relation to certain people, yet you can't seem to help yourself. I always do this. Why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? There is such self-blame. It has to do with interpersonal re relations, that when you find yourself either in a group or in a one-on-one, -on -one, there's something that you do and you're tripping yourself up. This is not judgment, by the way. This is factual. I don't come in. We don't deliver information that's a finger pointing. You might be doing that to yourself, which is what you do well, hence the guilt. But this is not to add more on to. We are doing a wonderful assessment, an evaluation, an analysis without judgment to clear you, to help you understand who you are and what's going on so you could feel freer. So there's baggage here in terms of how you are um, comporting yourself in town. Who are you in relation to other? Are you a braggart? Are you an isolate? Who are you? And when you go about your business, what are you doing where you oftentimes are saying, oh, I did it again. I always do that. I always do that. Why do I do that? Here's an idea. Rather than pointing a finger at yourself, where there's judgment, which leads nowhere but to a lower vibration, more suffering and a depressed, despairing feeling, how about this? How about asking yourself in a more curious way, how do I feel when I go to that group, when I go to those people, when I go to that person? How am I feeling? If you can identify the feelings that are underlying before you have the interaction with other, you might more clearly understand what mot motivates you to behave the way you do and to speak the way you do. Sometimes we interact without understanding where we're coming from before we have the encounter with them. Are you afraid? Are you jealous? Are you competitive? Are you envious? Are you feeling like you're, you're cowering, like you're less than? I am not worthy. I am afraid. 
What feelings do you hold inside of you that when you go elsewhere, you, you find that you bollocks things and then you blame yourself? Ah, I always do this. The, ah, I could have had a V8, right? So that's the, the shoulda, woulda, couldas with the blames. And ultimately, we're talking guilt here. That's what this video is about. It's about where you guilt yourself. Let's get to the underlying reason first. When you can identify the motivating factors that lead you to act and speak a certain way where you end up blaming yourself, that's something that you can do. That's something that you're in control of that you could change with personal work. And in terms of personal work, well, there are a few ways, and I'll mention this over and over in different videos. You can do therapy. You can do self-help group. You can do journaling. You can read books. You can go onto YouTube. You can read articles. You could talk to a trusted friend. You could ask for divine assistance. If, none, if, if those things don't work and you haven't been for therapy, I very much recommend therapy and also 12-step groups. That's also another avenue. But therapy ultimately with a trusted professional, preferably word of mouth, really can get to the issues, chop, chop, regarding 3D interactions. Where do I come in? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the other lifetimes. Here we go for another healing. Okay, for those of you who resonate, who are hitting themselves over the head going, ah, oh, I always do this. There could be other lifetimes where there's repetition, okay? Where you've done it before and you're doing it again and you have not forgiven yourself and maybe other, hence karma here. You also might have, do, have done it repetitively in other lifetimes, lifetimes like that. That's my Long Island folks. In other lifetimes, towards other, and now you're getting it back like a shit storm, learning by opposites via karma. Whatever the case, let's get rid of the karma for those who have guilt and that they can't seem to shake it. And they're always saying to themselves, why do I always do this? I'm always doing this. I'm always saying this. Across time and space, forwards and backwards, across all generations, we ball up all those lifetimes of that karma regarding guilt. Forgive yourself. Mm. Metaphor. I see a needle with some thread. And the needle was threaded and it was going to go back in for another round of pain and sewing this up and making more of this embroidered guilt picture. And what did you do? When you forgave yourself, you pulled the thread out of the needle. You did not want to add more to the brocade, okay? You might still be holding that needle. There's work to do here, folks. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but you pulled the thread out. Good for you. Next step, forgive everyone and everything. It takes time, I see this. You're going through a lot of layers. There are many souls. What I, I get as a collective, you have a genuine need to rectify this. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness. Please, all of you, forgive me because I have unforgiveness towards you. Thank God for these life lessons. Boy, torture. See, a lot of this torture. Wow. Someone was breastfeeding. It hurt like heck. That's going to change. Mammary glands are shifting. Someone has fibrocystic breasts. That's going to be calming down. I feel that this was glandular. glandular. I feel that people were having gland issues because they were blaming themselves over and over and over again. Mind you, regarding health issues, I have a disclaimer below my video. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please see your healthcare professional. I do not aim to heal or cure. I'm going in again regarding the concept of guilt. Mm. Interesting. There are those who feel guilty because others have not forgiven them. Therefore, they are not forgiving themselves. I'm not sure whether you're aware, but you do not need anyone's permission to forgive yourself. 
we can consciously hook ourselves in, ourselves into others and write a script and say, the only way that I'm going to forgive myself if, is if they forgive me first. That your forgiveness hinges on their forgiveness. That is a fallacy. You might have written that in this lifetime. You might have written it in another lifetime. It is an illusion. It is a lie. You are unto yourself. Yes, we are all a collective. We all are bound as one. But regarding forgiveness, we have free will. Thank goodness. And that you operate your own vehicle as they operate their own vehicle. Therefore, you have permission. If you are that much of a hard ass on yourself and you wait for another person's forgiveness in order for, for you to forgive yourself, that is your free will choice. You will go on like this. It, it's very difficult. That is your choice. God bless you if that is your ultimate choice. But spirit is sharing with you, you do not have to wait for another to forgive you in order for you to let go of unforgiveness towards self. When you do not forgive yourself, you incur karma. You cross yourself, and that is a hook-in of unforgiveness with your own self. And when you go to your passing, you have incurred karma, and you will need to return to this earth school and do another repeat performance, not the same story, but similar specs, where you challenge yourself until you forgive yourself again. And it goes on. I highly suggest forgiving yourself. I'm going to go into the Akashic Records. What is the Akashic Records? It is the holy library of where all has been noted of what has occurred across creation. I call it the library where you don't walk and chew gum. So for those of you who have written this script, whether it is in this lifetime or other, if you can't relate here, you don't know where you might have said it, but it's with you. You might have concluded it here, or it might be brought in because of karma from another lifetime, that script that was written where you made this utterance. I can only forgive myself if another forgives me first. And it rang so true in its strength that it reverbed through creation to all of your incarnations and settled as an energy, an energetic imprint, a signature where you now are fastened to it. So for those of you who can relate that wish to remove this script, I'm going into the Akashic Records and your higher self will be with me and y'all respectively will eliminate the vibration, the strong, inky, sh earth-shattering ring that suppresses you here and, and everywhere in all of your incarnations. Some of you are very, very, very strong, very strong, powerful souls. Uh, we'll call you dictators, but not in a bad way. Just you dictate, you state, you make dictates. I must do this. Therefore, as a result of those who are dictators, those statements are way, way strong. Spirit says, watch your statements, how strong you make your, your, your comments because you are putting shoulds down for yourself. You're writing scripts, these musts and shoulds and have tos, and that they become these energetic like shackles here and elsewhere because you hear what you say here and do here affect other lifetimes, but they're so strong that they reverb out. Ratchet it back and be mindful of what you are demanding, what you believe is a truism, and question them. There are falsities within your, your truths. I see heaven. I see um, angelic presence. I see monitors those that are balancing energies. I see many, many souls here and they stand and they walk to their respective incarnations where they have made these statements. And I do see guilt and the guilt somehow like as they walk 
forward, I see guilt energies being released behind. And there is magnitude in this. There's a precious energy here in this grand performance. And I see the sun and I see light. And there is an erasure of sorts, an elimination. Um, there's precipitation, a raining down of information on those that are participating. And I see an elimination. And guilt, for some of you, there is a very great likening, uh, lightening of, of guilt. For others, you still hold on, but there's a shift in perception regarding this. Some of you conclude, this is nonsensical. I can't relate to this. And you leave the scene empty-handed, meaning the guilt is gone. For others, it's you're still laden with some guilt, but there's a shift, and that's fantastic. Some of you have worry, and the sword... I see Abraham and the sword. I see a shield. There are many strong souls who are folks guides and they have the sword and the shield and they're talking with y'all regarding your strength and your might and how you can shift your perspective rather than plunging the sword into your heart, holding it with might not plunging it toward other, not plunging it toward self, but holding the shield and holding your sword and remaining in your truth without pointing a finger inward or outward or both. And there are blessings on you. Sip water between now and when you go to sleep. That's for all of you who receive a healing um, during my videos. I'm going to go back in regarding guilt. Mm. Some have self-pity. Why me? Um, they've done things, they've said things, and then they've added on that contrary notion. Why me? The pity, the victim. This is an earth school. There are no victims. We pre-birth plan to come into a lifetime. Some of the obstacles we plan beforehand, others um, are free will, post-incarnation choices that are made, whatever the case, there are no victims, folks. There are no mistakes, nothing's broken. Everything is divinely ordered. I don't know if that's new information for you, but I'm sharing this here. I don't push it on anyone, I offer my truth. Again, there's your truth, my truth, and the truth. And I believe that everyone has the opportunity to learn from everything that's transpired. You have a choice. So rather than choose guilt, you can go, hmm, interesting. Let's take a look at this. We call this spiritual distancing or spiritual witnessing. Some people call it spiritual observation. Whatever the case, we pull out of the movie screen, take a seat in the audience, in the theater, have some popcorn for levity if you want to, and observe. When did that start? Who are the players? Where do I fit in? How'd that transpire? Hmm, what's the bottom line? What can I learn from this? That's, that's what this is all about. Everything's a teaching moment. So if you're doing the self-pity part, you can stop whenever you want. No one's holding you back. And if someone expects you to do the pity party or world's smallest violin or both, who's more important? Oxygen mask on you first or on them? That's my question. I think you know the answer. Getting to that point of shifting, well, it takes work. Again, this is an earth school. No one said that it was going to be a piece of cake here and we knew coming in it wouldn't. We like the challenge. We like it here, folks. We Enjoy the challenge because we crave spiritual enlightenment and going to the next Tetris level. Okay, let's get rid of some self-pity. There's any karma. For those of you 
who are doing self-pity along with guilt, who are stuck, and it's difficult for you to release guilt because of your self-pity and self-blame. Across time and space, forwards and backwards, across all lifetimes, all generations, we ball them all up and you say inside, I forgive myself. There you go. Forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. It's torture, folks. Woo! Torture, I tell ya. Enough, folks. Enough. Give it up. Send it home. Baggage. Leave it at the gate. Go on the plane without the luggage. Take off, folks. Hands free. Many of you are ready, you're done. You have no need for this. Going back in regarding guilt. Yeah, spirit wants me to talk about that hindsight is 2020. Ah, shoulda, woulda, coulda, therefore guilt. Guilt, regret, shame, blame. This does not compute, not in earth school. The past is already done, it serves its purpose. It's for learning purposes, the past. We can't change it. That hindsight is 2020 is a trap. Did you know that? Do you know that you're in a trap with the hindsight is 2020? Everything happens in the now. That's where your power lies. Therefore, when you remain in guilt, you remain in the past. You're constantly regurgitating what went on in the past, saying, oh, if I had only, why did I do that? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You get nowhere, you don't move forward. So as a soul, you're not even fil fulfilling your soul contract, your mission, why you came down with your divine purpose, your holy essence to, to play, to experience, and to grow as a soul, to be of service to others, to learn to balance karma. Like I shared before, spiritually distance, take a look at what happened previously and observe and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And then you'll have those aha moments and you can forgive yourself whenever you want to. The past is there for reflection. The present is where everything happens. That's where creation occurs. And by the way, just a little bit about the future. The future is ours. We never know what will happen the next second, but we can dream. We can take steps towards. We can intend. We can express our desires to others, take steps towards, and ask the universe for miracles and assistance. Fear and doubt will block. And if it's for your highest good, it will manifest. Going back in to see if there's anything more regarding guilt. Hmm. Some people are caught up in their heads, the mental. Why did she do that to me? Why did they do that to me? Why did he do that to me? And they're in their minds so much. They're so in their heads regarding the past and what went on. They can't get past how they were wronged or betrayed or lied to or abused or misled, where they lost things. Why did that happen? Why did they say that? Why did they do that? How could that have happened? It's a hyperloop, a mental hyperloop that goes on that keeps you in a state of immobility not getting things done. I would call it like it's wasting your own tax dollars. Like you're not getting anywhere or you're, you're, it's a waste of neurons firing or it's a waste of oxygen being exp expended, but nothing is a waste. So I don't want to sound hypocritical in that way. Everything is, per is perfect. Sometimes we need to burn ourselves into the ground until we pick ourselves up. So everything is necessary in order to then have an aha moment but it becomes a hyperlink that doesn't move someone forward. It keeps them in a loop 
uh, sometimes it even regresses you and it moves you backwards. At least it doesn't move you forwards. It could even have you tank and go backwards. Therefore, if you cannot answer the question, why did that happen? If you don't know why something occurred, betrayal, abuse, neglect, having been misled, whatever the case, what about this? What about accepting it? The A word, folks, accept it. It happened. It happened. The universe knows what's best for us and your higher self knows what's best. And as a collective, we all are in this together. So it happened. Could be that you got a karmic smackdown, could be learning by opposites, could be that you were being of service. You needed for this to happen in order for another to learn something from what they did to you. You might have done it to them. You might have had it done to you before, therefore it's happening to you again because you didn't do the forgiveness work. Whatever the case, acceptance is underrated, as is forgiveness. The F word and the A word, there are a lot of underrated words. I highly recommend accepting. When you accept something, your dole, what is meted out to you, it is so freeing. And then you could move forward and go, well, I don't know what the fuck. I have no idea. But whatever the case, it happened. New day, new dawn. Pick yourself up. And also ask yourself, what can I learn from this? You'll be a bigger, better person. Okay? Let's get rid of some karma. The folks that are PTSDing, traumatized, hurt, broken down, having had been betrayed, misled, neglected, abused, lied to, where there's any suffering and you're in your head and it's difficult for you to get past. How could this have happened? Why'd they do this to me? How did he do this to me? How did she do this to me? Why did they do this to me? How could this have happened? Any karma across time and space, forwards and backwards, across all generations, we ball up all those lifetimes and you say inside, I forgive myself. Good, have a sip of water, this is huge. Huge. Forgive everyone and everything. Ask for everyone and everything's forgiveness and thank God for these life lessons. Oh my God. Someone's toe and someone's toe is feeling weird now and another ankle is pulsing. There's energy running through someone's spine. Their hearing is off right now. Their, their ears might be boxed. That's like when you put your hands over your ears and the pressure changes. Your eyes might be fluttering right now. Someone might feel a little bit woozy right now. I'm asking for the divine ones to balance out folks' energies if they feel a little off kilter. Someone feels a little bit nauseous. I don't see anyone throwing up. Have ginger tea, ginger candy, ginger supplement. Sip water, ginger ale, but if it has corn syrup in it, I don't suggest that. Sugar won't help. And for some of you, you need to take a bath. So uh, what, the next time that you are near a bathtub, if you have one, Epsom salts, if you can handle sulfites, a cup of Epsom salts well dissolved in a bathtub. Sit yourself down and call upon the divine ones, the highest of Christ's light, and ask, please release all that does not serve me. Thank you. They say, steer clear from additives that will not help you. Soda, uh, quite toxic. There are a lot of people who are drinking soda that will not assist with this. I don't know where this is coming from, but there's benzene in something and that's uh, that corrodes folks. So take a look at your ingredients. Some people like putting preserves or marmalade or jam on bread, that will assist. For those of you where that resonates, we're talking not if you've got diabetes, insulin issues, sugar issues, candida albicans, overgrowth. The folks that know that this is part of, of what works, a little bit of sweetness, but a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of munching with some sweet spread that will do. We're not talking Nutella, folks. We're talking fruit spread. No cheating. Ask.
And I also do see that as a result of this, you are bonding to earth. So I believe that there's a grounding that's going on as well. I feel there's more of a solidification of spirit. I feel that you're more of a condensed version of who you are versus more of a scatter. So when I see this, I see before at the beginning of the video, many of you were more diffuse. And as a result of this, there was a healing that took place. And I feel that you're more substantial. I see you more clearly as an individual soul, each respective soul, you're more condensed and put together. Um, shaman would say that soul fragments were, were found across time and space. They were, they were reunited. I don't do shaman work. Um, I do galactic work and it looks similar. So with that being said, that is the end of this video regarding guilt. If you are interested in a private reading with me, please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com. I am in North Central New Jersey. If you are not local to me, I do Skype, I do phone, and I do Facebook videos, which are equally effective. You could find me on radio shows and SoundCloud and YouTube here, LinkedIn, and uh, find me. Uh, all of the information is below this video. Please like if you enjoyed and comment. I, I would really love to hear from you. Share this with friends. Let people know that I'm out there. And I will see you next time. Take care, folks. Oh, forgot. Bake the fucking pie. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, go back to the last video that I did and you will understand. If spirit comes in and says, bake the blueberry pie, just bake the fucking pie. Bye, y'all. <laughs>